Hi, I'm Chris James and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. I just bought a new meter, it's called a ORP meter or ORP meter. Now the main test that I want to do is with the ORP meter because I haven't used this yet and just briefly to let you know what the ORP does, it measures uh, the oxidation of a liquid. So we're going to be seeing how oxidizing the tap water is versus the distilled and the sun water. and uh, how oxidizing or how anti-oxidizing a liquid is is very important because essentially what we're talking about is a liquid that is going to age you, your organs, uh, uh, promote disease in the body versus a liquid that's going to make you look more youthful, uh, stop or reverse aging and essentially, essentially heal the body. So we're going to see who is going to come out on top. Of course, I've got my predictions, and any of, you, any of you guys who are familiar with my channel, you already know where I've got my money. Uh, so everybody place their bets now. And then, of course, the total dissolved solids, I'm going to be testing the tap water, the distilled water, and the sun water, just to see if the sun has some weird effect on total dissolved solids in the liquid. That's just something I'm curious about. I've got the meter, why not, right? Now, total dissolved solids is really, really simple. All it means is how much solids are dissolved in the liquid and these solids can be minerals it could be uh, chemical compounds it could be heavy metals it could be all sorts of things but typically you do not want a ton of totally dissolved solids in your water and uh, now if you're getting your water from you know natural spring it's going to have the, the a lot of more solids in it from you know riding around on the rocks and the dirts and whatever but uh, coming out of the faucet or from a bottled water company, you don't want a lot of total dissolved solids in your water. So let's see how it fares in uh, the tap water, the distilled water, and the sun water. I'm gonna put the tap water in this glass, I'm gonna put the, the distilled water in this glass, and I'm gonna be putting the sun water in this glass. So let's get into it. All right, so just so you guys know, this, this sun water is literally hot off the presses. I mean, it's still warm from being outside. So uh, this is very fresh sun water. Uh, and then of course, I've got some distilled water. I ran this last night. And then uh, the tap water, I just went ahead and poured it just now. So it's fresh too, if that's what the word you wanna use <laughs> for tap water. All right, so the first test we're gonna do is a total dissolved solids test. And uh, this, this tester, it literally just tells you how much, how much dissolved solids is in the, the water. So this would be your minerals, your heavy metals, your, your chemicals, uh, anything that you could pretty much think of that's a solid that would be in the water. So let's turn this bad boy on. And as you can see, it's currently reading Yeah, it's currently reading zero parts per million. Let's go. Oh, right off the bat, the tap water is at 220 parts per million. It's actually fluctuating between 215 and two. Wait, it's going down. It's going down. Okay. Looks like it's stopping between 212, 200. 200 parts per million. Let's get a little cup of distilled water so we can clean the probe. Okay, so that settled out at about uh, 212 parts per million. We're just gonna clean the probe off a little bit with a little more distilled water. And we're going to test the distilled water. Now this is what I typically see with the distilled water. This is a two parts per million, which is usually what I see when I distill my water. Uh, it doesn't usually distill it to perfect zero. I've got it down to one before, and I think I might've got it down to zero once before, but that's very typical of distilled water to uh, you know, be floating right around zero and two parts per million. And of course, these testers have a small range of error as well, so 
keep that in mind. Now we'll test the sun water to see what parts per million is in there. And the sun water is testing at three parts per million. Uh, it would be my uh, thought that, you know, just from being, being out in, in the elements, uh, I sit it outside with a cork. Some of the cork gets in there. Some of the elements from the air probably get in there because it's not completely sealed. And uh, that's probably why it's a little bit higher, but no big deal. It's still a very low reading. Now, we're gonna be getting into this ORP test, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack it open. Uh, these sensors are pretty sensitive, and uh, I, keep, I keep hearing things like, oh, you know, you, can use, you use it one time and it's no good anymore. Now, of course, there's a proper way to store these sensors and to keep them, uh, but just to, to cut down on all of that, I figured I would wait until I did this video to open this thing. So I'm going to take a look. Hopefully, I don't have to do too much calibration to it because I'm not in the mood. I'm going to take a look here, see what needs to be done, and then we're going to go ahead and test these liquids. The instructions say to put it in the liquid and then stir it around and wait for it to stabilize. So this tap water is actually not that bad. It's reading a positive 136, which is actually lower than what I expected. Now with the ORP, you want a negative reading. Negative is actually good. So I'm very curious to see if any of my liquids make it to a negative ORP. Okay, now this other solution, this is water, it's distilled water to clean some of the tap water off to mitigate some of the contamination. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and test this in the uh, distilled water solution. Oddly enough, the distilled water is actually not too much better than the tap water. It's sitting around uh, 128, 129 ORP, 130 ORP. So it's, it's sitting right around the same as the tap water, which is interesting. Uh, I didn't necessarily expect that, but I also did not necessarily expect that. So now this is, the ch this is the time we've all been waiting for. I'm curious to see how it will stand up in the sun water. Okay, so the sun water looks like it's sitting at, well, the sun water is constantly going, it's con going down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it keep on working. Right now it's at 105. So it looks like the sun water settled out at about 107. So it is uh, lower than the distilled water and the tap water. Now, a couple interesting things. Number one, that does let you know that there is something that is definitely happening in a positive sense for the water to be lower than the tap water and the distilled water. So I just, all I do for my water is I take it out of the tap, uh, I put it in the distiller, I distill it, I put it in the sun, I sun energize it. And so those are the three steps or the two steps that I've taken to produce this water. And as you can see, the ORP is lower by, you know, about 30 points. So something is happening, something is taking place and it is uh, changing the water. So I'd be curious to see how long how low I can get the ORP on the water based on how long I leave the water out in the sun. That might be another test for another day. Anyway, this one's just to show you guys that obviously there is a difference. Putting the water out in the sun is not just doing nothing. It's not, you know, just in our heads or anything like that. There's some amazing things that happen. Um, now, when I tested it with the pH, and there's a video I already have out where uh, I tested it with the pH, and I'll link that for you. I'll put a card for you guys. But... I noticed that the tap water, um, it was sitting, it was sitting, I can't remember what it was sitting at after I distilled it, but it was definitely a lower pH versus when I sun energized it, I saw the, the pH going up. So the sun is having a positive effect on each one of these readings, except for the TDS meter, which, you know, like I said, the, I don't keep it air tight and whatever. Uh, but the distiller does get rid of a ton, a ton of the crap in it, as you can see. So we, we eliminated uh, about 200 or so um, parts per million of, uh, of solids using the, distilled, the distiller process. And then we were able to reduce the, the oxidation of the liquid by about 30, 30 points or so using the sun energy. 
So we're going to continue, you know, learning and, and figuring this thing out and getting better and honing it. And um, I've got some other things I've been working on and I'll be anxious to share that with you guys. Uh, if you're in the Patreon group, I'll be giving you guys a first look on what I've got going on outside of just sun energizing the water, taking the water to the next level. Uh, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, look forward to those videos. All right, guys, make sure to check out the Facebook group and the website. I'm going to have links to Patreon, Facebook and the website in the description box. Check them out. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I will see you guys next time.